Today I'm going to uh, Felix. We're going to try to sound it in the Passat. I got all the stuff we need in the back. Uh, at least I think we have to do the front doors. Uh, we got the b b bitumen mats or something, like this rubbery material, self-sticking. Uh, so we're going to try to apply that to the outer side of the door. Well, on the inside, but on the outside. So yeah, I got the materials in the garage right now. I will be heading to Eslov and uh, I will uh, measure the audio on the way, on the highway and stuff, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, actually hear a difference. That would be very nice. So yeah, going to fill up. I'm heading to Eslov. So right now uh, I'm doing about uh, 60 miles per hour or 110 kilometers an hour. Now I am driving with uh, winter tires with uh, studs in them so they're pretty loud and it's a little bit windy today but uh, I'm measuring here on my phone. Uh, you are hearing me through the camera microphone that I got but I got the measurement on the microphone from the uh, from my iPhone just to get like a baseline. It's probably not accurate at all But at least it measures the same every time so we can uh, so we can see how it differs from uh, When we have done the doors as well, and I hope you can hear the difference then that would be real nice But it's not super scientific All right, so uh, I'm here with uh, Felix now and uh, we're going to start tearing down the uh, doors as I said before, we're going to sound it in uh, the Passat and uh, make it a luxury car like a Bentley. So uh, ah! we're going to apply this material. Uh, it's called a bitumen, I think, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, it dampens vibrations in the doors, uh, in the metal sheets and stuff like that. So uh, the less vibrations you have, the, the less resonance you have and the better that is. So we're going to start with the outer side because we don't have that much material right now. And uh, after that, we're going to uh, have to buy some more stuff and uh, do the rest of the door as well. And uh, after that, maybe we will uh, upgrade the sound system in this. Although I think it's pretty good already, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so uh, I positioned you a little bit better. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to loosen two torque screws down here. Then we have to remove the uh, panel interior here, trim, and remove uh, two Phillips screws. And after that, we can uh, open up the door and uh, get the connectors from behind. So uh, we'll start with that. Now this is a bit sensitive, uh, usually you would like to have some uh, panel remover uh, tools, usually come in plastic, but uh, I don't have those, so uh, this will have to do. Did you tape this, Felix? Yeah. Yeah. Did I do a bad job? Yeah. No. I only have huge, big old flatheads. You only have huge? Oh, Jesus. There we go. What's that, a Phillips in there? Yep, we got two Phillips in the handle here. The driver's side looks a bit different, but it's basically the same procedure. We might be able to just pull out the door. <clears throat> there we go. Once you removed all the clips from the interior trim, you can just push it up like so. And we can start removing the connectors and everything. All right, so now we got the panel removed. As you can see, uh, or maybe you can't, some of the clips uh, just got broken, or actually just one. 
that's pretty impressive. These uh, tend to break because the car is so old. So uh, there's a connector here. Yep. For the tweeter. No, uh, that's not no, what that's is. for the uh, window. The window, okay. The yep. window button, and then there's a big rod here. Yep, it's this it's one. It's a cable for the door latch, and down here it's a light. Yeah, shines on the floor. Exactly. So that's pretty much it. Now we got access to the middle panel, which we're going to remove as well. We need to check here. We want to remove all the cables now. So we got the speaker cable. Just pull that up. You got uh, another speaker cable here for the tweeter. There we go. And this is for uh, the uh, what's it called? Tweet? No. No, oh, the wind. The, the, <laughs> the rear view mirror. Yeah. The right side mirror. We need to align the window correctly so we can uh, remove that. So we got these holes and we're going to have to push up or down the window so that uh, two screws align with these holes. So we just push uh, the window connector in. Swedish country, nice. Now you can see you've got two 10 millimeters. Uh, Holding down the window or One here. holding everything together. There. You just loosen those a little bit. This one as well. <laughs> what? Yeah. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? No. And this, if you live in a country that allows it, or if you're a bit of a criminal, it's a perfect time to put tint on the window. Exactly. No, I don't want that because uh, I don't want that. Maybe the rear, we're going to tint the rear, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to tint the rear windows someday, but uh, that will not be today and it will not be the front ones. Because that's illegal. Yeah. And we are law abiding citizens. Always. Definitely with the golf at least. But now, yeah, actually, <laughs> it is legal. <laughs> it's actually legal now. So now that we've done that, we can remove the last of the connectors. So we get the whole uh, harness loose. You can take them from the inside. Oh no! Wah, wah. I don't know. <coughs> Maybe. Might work here. Oh yeah. Through the window. Might work. With uh, some precision tool skill Kinipics. knowledge. There we go. All right, so we are going to remove these 10 millimeters uh, so that we can access the last connector. And this goes to the door handle and the locking mechanism. But we can't access it from this side. So we have to loosen this whole middle panel to uh, access the connector. Yeah. So it's slightly glued on. I oh, know there's like a rubber material here. Yeah. There we go. Can we miss enter them? I think those were. All right. So when you removed all the screws uh, and all the connectors, you still have the. Uh, a holder here for the uh, locking mechanism. So you just uh, take a Phillips head and you just push uh, the locking mechanism in. Nothing uh, spectacular really. And you should be able to get this right out. Ah, there we go. Islands. Ah. Pretty sure I broke those now, but hey. Now everything should uh, be able to come off here. I did not loosen all the connectors. Do as I say, not as I do. Now all the connectors are loose. You can see exactly what time it was put on. Jesus. Damn, they work in the late 18, night shift. 03. Yeah. Remove the uh, wire to the door handle. Makes things a lot easier. There we go. 
Okay, now nice. Now it's a race car. Now it's a race car. This connector here going to the uh, door locking mechanism. And the way it works is you have to pull that backwards. And sometimes that's very difficult. Then you can use a small screwdriver, like a flathead, to pry it open like this. Now this I've never seen before. Oh, damn. So that's pretty... Uh, but if you hold the camera, yeah. and then you put, I put my lavalier. Oh, yeah. Uh, my lav mic. You can see, you can see like me pushing here. Yeah. All of this, this is like a flat piece of metal. I and mean, when you have a flat piece of metal, it tends to resonate. Yeah, exactly. So, because uh, it's, you know, it's a bit flexible and, and yeah. Yeah. So this is the original uh, material they used to deaden the sound. Now this gets hard when it gets old. Yeah, it dries and out basically. It's not a lot as you can see. So what we're going to do is cover as much as we can of this uh, to make it not resonate. And that will make less noise get into the car. Which is exactly what we want. Less noise from the outside going to the inside as well as better audio quality from the speakers because everything doesn't vibrate, you just get the pure yeah. sound. And, and the speaker bass doesn't get drowned out by the road noise, which is yeah. sometimes the same frequency. Exactly. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Let's see what we can figure out here. All right, so uh, it's pretty damn dirty in here. So what we're going to do first is to clean this properly because uh, you don't want it to uh, be very dirty because the, uh, the mat's not going to stick. So. Uh, I don't know what we got here. Yeah, so, so we got some, yeah, some normal uh, brake clean. Yeah, brake clean which always works. My idea works. is first we put brake clean. Yep. Uh, and then we put some, this is just basically isopropyl alcohol, uh, yeah, so which gets rid of, rid of everything. Brake clean can leave a small bit of residue, yeah. but it's good for mass cleaning and you got a lot of power in it. Yeah. All right, so now we got the main panel pretty clean. Uh, we just got to uh, clean down here, but there's a lot of small crevices and stuff. So we'll see what we can do. There's also a lot of, uh, I don't know what you call it, like uh, anti-rust uh, residue. Sometimes they just put like a- Cavity wax. What? Cavity wax. Cavity wax, that's what you call it. Thank you, Felix. So, uh, they just put that in to uh, not make it rust because they don't put that much paint in here. So, uh, yeah. But I think this will be pretty good. All right, so uh, my idea is that we put on just the outside uh, sheet of metal here. We're not going to try with the reinforcements and stuff like that, but mainly the outer sheet because that's what really vibrates and resonates uh, the, the most. Uh, and then we're going to get some more of this and also resonate the, or deaden the, the middle panel here. But I realized I had to, uh, I didn't have enough material to do that today. So we're going to start with this actually, but I have a feeling it will do a lot actually. Yeah. Well, the car isn't loud. No, it's. So, as uh, it is. I was so surprised when I bought this car. It's uh, it's so quiet for being like an 03 model. Like it's it's still an old car, but yeah, it's it's, it's super like comfy a, it, to it, ride. It's a it's a Passat. It's not a yeah. an Audi. Still a, a Bentley. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. So the last clean now. I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol, Al alcohol, to just evaporate the last few bits and pieces of residue that's here. Okay, uh, this is me, I'm Felix. Uh, you've seen me before maybe. This is, uh, as Linus said before, a bitumen mat. So there's uh, bitumen on the backside with uh, like sticky. 
and then you've got a, a thin sheet of aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium? <laughs> Depending on who you ask. <laughs> uh, and uh, what you do is you put it on the surface after you cleaned it, and then you roll it on with a small plastic roller or what you got on hand just to push in the aluminum and you get more pressure on it and it sticks better. And what we also will do is put some heat on it with a heat gun that ma basically makes it adhere better because this is like, a, this area gets, it gets hot and it gets cold and it gets hot and it gets cold all the time and it's a, it's a damp area. So a little bit more adhesion. You wouldn't do this on like the roof of the car or anything. And what I basically do here is I can't put this mat that doesn't work. Why not? <laughs> that, won't, that won't work because yeah, you've got all the pieces here and what you want to do is put it on the big flat areas. And you don't have to get 100% coverage, but at least I would say 50% gets you 90% of the way there in terms of sound deadening. But more is always more. So right down here you maybe can't see, but you've got a thin piece that goes along the whole length of the door. I will put it down where I want it and we'll just mark it. And what I will use is a small knife. And what I will do is I will just cut from the piece I marked to the other piece. And it's, it's not hard to cut. That looks super ergonomic, Felix. Yeah. So we got a piece here. It will fit it just will like fit a glove. Just like a glove. Awesome. And when I do, after I just proof fit it, I remove the adhesive backing. And I put it in where I want it. And but, just uh, give it a small push with the finger, just to get it to stick, and then I will just roll it. Yeah. So, my idea is maybe we do a time lapse on this. Yeah, but, uh, Th this is everything you have to know, basically. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to do the whole door if we can, if we got the materials for it, and uh, we'll show you the results then. Sounds like a plan? Yeah. Yeah, so now we've got like, I don't know, 80% cover? Yeah, or I would say 80. 80%-ish. And uh, it should be... Uh, much. You will also notice when you do this that the car will get, or the doors will get a little bit heavier or a lot heavier, depending on how much you use. Yeah, you get a much that more get your oomph. The solid door slam, a more Mercedes-like door slam. It will feel much more premium. Yeah. It won't feel uh, as cheap of a door. It will uh, yeah. feel legit. So now we got the outer shell done. Uh, we're not going to do the center shell or the medium wall or whatever you call it, uh, because I don't have enough material. This is just something we want to start today. So we're going to do the outer side today on both doors, uh, the front doors. So we don't have to remove everything again. Uh, next time we are going to sound them. So outer shell now, put the door together and uh, we'll see how much this does. All right, so. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm Broke thick. the car in half. Yeah. All right, so now we just put the door skin together and uh, that's pretty much the same uh, setup as uh, removing it. Ah, God damn it. All right, so we've got one of the clips. There's the drain hole. I found the drain. Oh, the other one is down there as well. Got him. So these are the uh, clips that you had to remove from this holder here. All right, so we're going to start with putting the wire back and the Lock indicator. There we go. Got that in place. We need to get the connector that goes all the way here. 
put that through the hole. You plug that in and you got the wire, the holder goes to the bottom hole. That's what it's for. There we go. We got the door mechanism. Put that through the hole. You put it on the clips and you put the rubber on. All right. Don't forget you need to put the bottom in first. It will be much easier. There we go. No wires in the way. Uh. Känns som jag inte vill... Uh... All right, so now the passenger door is done. We're going to do the driver's side. Now this is pretty much the same, uh, except you don't have the two Phillips screws uh, for the handle. You just remove the old handle like this, and it sits with clips. So you just remove the window uh, regulators, and then you got the Phillips screws here instead, three. So we're going to do this uh, because it's pretty boring to watch all over again and uh, then we're going to see if it does any difference at all. Look, I can show you how to remove it. All right, so uh, it turns out <laughs> yeah, you can take the microphone. Okay, so we got uh, two sheets left over. Uh, so we decided to do uh, this door panel here, inner skin or what you call it, that uh, houses the speaker and uh, the window motor and this is also an important layer because the stuff that actually gets through the outer skin that we already had the sound deadened will travel through this and if we deaden this we get an even better layer more layers more deadening even better isolation yeah exactly i will fill all the flat areas the, try not to cover the creases there's no the creases are stiff and what this is does is it makes it more stiff you don't have to do the creases do the flat areas this one especially and this one and uh, try to get some around the speaker because the speaker vibrates and that will dampen the vibrations so yeah yeah Okay, so now we are finally done with the front doors. Uh, we actually happened to get a little bit more material than we expected and uh, counted on. So we did the center panel as well. Uh, Felix did one side and I did one side. So now we have only the door screen left, uh, which is nice. We don't have to tear everything apart completely anymore. But uh, yeah, so we're going to wash off the car, going to take a test drive and uh, see if we notice anything at all. All right guys, so now we have the sounded and doors and I am on the same road at 110 kilometers an hour so we'll see if this will differ anything or uh, how it will look I'll uh, talk to you more when I get to the garage I'm back in the garage uh, went home from Felix now so we did some testing listening to some music and drive, drive, drive and drive and drove on the road of course and uh, it sounds a little bit better. The doors definitely feels much more uh, uh, hefty. Is that how you call it? Like uh, there's a bit more oomph when you close the door and everything. And uh, the audio seems so much uh, clearer. Like the bass isn't as muddy as it used to be. I still have the stock audio system though, but man, it sounds amazing. Like I was thinking about changing stereo and stuff, but I found Bluetooth 
receiver that I can plug into the CD changer. Uh, that's OEM on this, so I might actually do that instead because it sounds so good already. Just uh, would like to tweak the EQ a little bit. But that will uh, be another video on that. We're going to fill the door on the back, uh, obviously, the back doors. Also, uh, we already did the rear seats underneath there. You've got the uh, sound editing as well, as well as in the trunk uh, where the spare wheel is and the back door. The back, the back door? Yeah, the rear, rear door. So it's all already sounded in from the back. Uh, but nothing in the doors or on the floor, just uh, the rear seat uh, paneling and stuff. So yeah, now we're a little bit closer to better audio at least. Uh, as I said, it sounds a little bit better. I don't know if it's quieter. I did some measurements uh, with my iPhone. So we'll see how those uh, turn out, if it's uh, same same or uh, if it's uh, any different. But yeah, I'll have to go home and uh, edit that to find out. This will be the part one of making the Passat a Bentley. So uh, stay tuned for the next episode.